Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to take a quick look at how you can use your normal TV remote to control your fire stick. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I've just got my normal fire stick remote here. Well, this is a fire TV cube, but it's going to work the same and it navigates as it should. And if I bring in my TV remote, this is a Samsung TV, but it should work the same on any TV. You're also going to see that na that works exactly the same. I can navigate with that as well. Now, I've not actually had to do anything. This just worked as default. So you can pick up your TV remote and see if that works for you. If it doesn't, then you can take a quick look at this setting and that might sort it. Now, I don't know what was the matter with my camera then, but I did turn a bit yellow and I don't know why. Don't worry, though, I'm all right. <laughs> Right, so if you find that your TV remote isn't working with your Fire Stick, this is the setting you can check. So I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max second gen, but it's going to work the same on any device. And we're going to go, we're going to what? <laughs> going to go all the way across to the right to settings and go down and across to where it says display and audio. Now, once we click on this, you're going to see an option here for HDMI CEC device control. And this is turned on usually by default, but if you find that it's not working, it might be turned off for you. Now, what HDMI CEC does is it allows you to power your TV on and off with your Fire Stick remote or use the volume controllers. But as we see here as well, depending on your TV, this may include additional CEC capabilities, such as allowing your TV's remote to control your device. So that's the setting you can take a look at if your TV remote isn't working with your Fire Stick. And you can also check your TV settings as well to see if that's also got HDMI CEC turned on. Obviously, I could show you my TV settings, but I'm guessing there's going to be numerous different brands people are using. And it usually is quite simple to find anyway. Now, a lot of people might think, why do I want to use my TV remote instead of my Fire Stick remote? And there's a few different reasons, really. One of the main ones being, you can just use one remote to control everything. So you can get rid of your Fire Stick remote and just use your TV remote. Another example, not so long ago, someone got in touch and said they broke the Fire Stick remote and they didn't know how they were going to control it anymore. And that I just said, have you tried using your TV remote? And they were like, Oh, that works. <laughs> so just something as simple as that, and it helps people out. That's the reason for making this video. A drawback with using your TV remote, though, is if you click the home button, then it's probably not going to work as it should on your Fire Stick. So you're just going to have to keep clicking back on your TV remote to obviously get back home. But apart from that, it works absolutely fine. Now, let me know in the comment section down below, do you use the Fire Stick remote? Do you use one of these Bluetooth remotes? I know a lot of people like them as well. Or are you somebody that uses your TV remote to control your Fire Stick? And also, we're making quite a few of these Fire Stick beginner videos, so if you can think of anything that might help somebody out, as simple as it may be, let me know in the comments section down below, and let's all help each other out. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll leave you a playlist here to all the Fire Stick beginner videos if you find these useful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!